Do you think Do you think a flood happened during the time of Noah? It might have. Wait, so, whether it happened or not, the, story, the, the message is more important than that. Yeah, but the message wouldn't come without the story. Yeah, so, if you, if you think the story is not real, yeah. then... No, this, no, that's not true. Then it doesn't make... Uh, the story could still be inscribed, it could still be told, the message would still be there, even yeah. if there was no... But anyway, I don't understand, because one... Maybe I'm not putting one, it in Yeah, one is contingent on the other. Your message is contingent no, no, on the story. No, no, that's, yeah. I, I'm not the, putting it in the, the message is contingent on the story, on the event. The event is historic. Yes? And the event was there for a reason. To, to show people, to, so that people later on learn lesson from it. So it's basically yeah. like, a, what is it? It's a lesson for us. So if I wrote one of the best stories in the world, yeah. that very, um, very probable, a flood or let's say, you know, an earthquake somewhere, and it taught you one of the best messages in the world, yeah. but it never happened. It was a story, it was, it was a metaphor. Okay. You'd, so still, you'd still take I need the, in the message Still yeah, look, I'm not saying I'm not saying there is no moral lessons in made-up stories. I never right. said that. But the Quran is not made up, right, okay. and the stories in the Quran are not made up. That is my point. Yeah, yeah it I doesn't mean that I don't understand. I don't listen. Uh, sorry, I don't. Uh, I, I don't believe in uh, in fictional stories yeah. which have a moral lesson. But then, what's so, back, why Islam? If you have two moral stories, both teaching, you know. Because it's teaching wonderful, amazing. Because things. one gives you guidance. The other one could give you guidance. One too. gives you guidance and salvation. Okay. The other doesn't. Well, the other could say that too. But it's a fiction. You already, ex you have already specified it. No, the other could say that if you believe in this, if you believe in the the messages, the core tenets, then you can go to heaven. Then it's a religion. Yeah. Thank you. You have different religions. That's why I told you. you have to, it is for you now to find the correct religion. Because right. what you just described is a religion. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's right. You have multiple instruction manuals. You have multiple religions. I don't deny that. Yeah. Okay? But what you, your whole lifetime will pass and you'll still not find, uh, be able to study every single religion out there. So what is, how will you narrow down your choices and still try to attain or, or uh, get a shot at salvation somehow? What would you do? You, that you just... You just narrow it down to certain yeah. things. How will you? Monotheism. Yeah, very good. You, Mashallah. He's, monotheism. he's intelligent. This guy. Monotheism is like the one of the things I'm sure about. Everything else is kind of. So like it's not too, you know. If you look, trust me. If you read the Quran, yeah. and you read the Torah, and you read the New Testament, yeah. yes. When I say Torah, I mean the Old Testament. Yeah. Yes, because that's what they call it, the Torah now. You will come to the conclusion, yeah. you will come to the conclusion that the Quran stands out heads and shoulders above those two other books. You know why? Because the clarity with which the Quran gives its message, yes, about how you can not only first believe in God, yes, without any contradictions in it. Because you know one of the principles in the Quran, how to identify or a litmus test, Allah gives it in the Quran, is Allah says, if this book is from anyone other than Allah, surely you'll find contradictions in it. But that doesn't, that's, that's true. But yeah, so if, if God if is, God is all-knowing, yeah. if God knows everything, the past, present and future, yeah. will, he, will he give you contradictions in his message? No, but you've probably had this conversation multiple times. Um, the fact that it doesn't have contradictions doesn't mean it's from, no, no, from God. I didn't say contradictions only. I said if a book claims to be from God, yeah. And then it has contradictions in it. Yeah, that then it's surely it's not God. from God. And that's that's the only the only book from these three which will satisfy this condition is the Quran. Okay, why should it not have contradictions? In the I just told you because if, if God is perfect, all knowing, yeah. why then would He, he have contradictions? He knows that there are contra he puts contradictions there for a reason. No, don't be silly. No, God is not that's a, a different. That's yeah, a different. God, God doesn't deceive people. If yeah. God wants, because here is a matter of your salvation. You know, it's your eternal life after that. Exactly. These it makes no sense. Okay, uh, the other books, like I said, the Old Testament, New Testament have lots of contradictions in it. For example, in Genesis 6:6, 6, 6, the same story: why the flood happened. So God created human beings. Human beings rebelled against God. They were being disobedient. Listen, to, listen to I'm me. I'm sure Jews have an answer to it. No, no, I've asked, I've asked them directly. I've, I've got videos. Them. You can. I've, you, I've got videos to prove that. Prove that. And I ask them, why does God regret? Yeah. Yes, because if if a God who knows everything, yeah. yes. He knows the consequences of that, then there's no point in regretting. 